thank you very much for tuning in this is the military guna tv i want to say thank you all for the subscription i can see i'm, I'm moving not as fast as i would hope but i am moving and i really do appreciate for all those who took the time out to subscribe to the channel now this is as you can see dundalk versus arsenal preview and i want you guys to look deep into what you're seeing here because this there that you're looking at is my starting lineup now i know you guys aren't seeing me today because this is not about me this is about the, the team lineup and what we're expecting to see now what you're seeing is who you're expected to see and when you're looking at the screen there's no need to see me again because all the players are on the screen and they are the, the, what, what is important at this point in time now i want to speak about a few things before i get into the starting lineup first thing first first thing first the wicked man that you're seeing up there gabriel martinelli we all know that he's a killer on the field he had a beautiful game in the under 23s yesterday where they lost three goals to zero but he had only played 60 minutes and he was very much influential in those 60 minutes pressing and keeping the wimbledon team under massive amount of pressure and really and truly if you should take into fact in, in in concept that it's actually when he came off the field that a bit of pressure were, he was eased off the Wimbledon's defense and where they were allowed to actually press a bit higher, press us a bit higher and cause errors where he threw one from Akino, Akineola um, where he, that led to a goal. But that was one of the reasons why we were so dominant in the first 60 minutes of the game in which um, Gabriel Martinelli was on the pitch. But came off a bit of issues but we know that he is not 100% fit, so we want to get him as best as possible to match fitness. Now, William Saliba had a beautiful game as well, but he got, a, I would say, an unfortunate second yellow card in the latter stages of the game where he came off. But he had a solid game, very impressive. And to his left, to his right, I should say, was Socrates, which is a more senior player who have played in bigger games than him. Seems as if he's the one who was actually being taught how to defend from William Saliba breaking the press breaking the line getting inside the midfield easing pressure off the, the midfield areas and playing through balls to the attacking players and it was a sight to see a very enjoyed, enjoyable match and I will not inform you guys of how I watch the match but just know that I watched the match and it was a very good match now I was want to say let's get back into the meat of the matter oh P, as you see our captain there P. Emmerich Aubameyang their uh, reports are coming out that Pierre um, ever um Pierre Emerick Aubameyang was um charged was fined for his comments on social media posts um about the incident that happened in the Gambia um airport where is where his teammates and himself um had to sleep on the floor the night before the international game against Gambia and he, he put it out on social media and now it seems, it seems as if he's been charged for it or being um, fined for it but we'll get in, we'll find out more about that on another um show and we we'll discuss it more in another show second picture is the big man himself nicolas pepe now this is now another opportunity for nicolas pepe to prove to Mikel arteta that he's worthy to to be in the premier league team and it's far far better than the personal of um of, that we are seeing Mikel arteta playing such as william and he deserves his chance now as you can see to my right which is would i think would be your left it doesn't matter you will see a figure 709 that is close to any any head that is my subscription count i'm asking you guys show me some support touch the subscription button also click the bell to get the content as soon as it drops and let that figure rise i would definitely appreciate it if that figure starts to rise um but moving on to the team lineup my formation as you all know i love my 4-2-3-1 because i do believe that gives support in support in the midfield area and good defensive support and also it, it, it enlightens the attackers um will to get into proper positions on the field and also it can easily transition into a two banks of four with a two two attacking um, players to, to do to do the defensive work when we're under pressure so this is what my, my starting lineup looks like um, runners in goal at right back we have Cedric Suarez and left back we have Kolozhinak we have a, a, a centre back pairing of 
Pablo Mari and Mustafi in front of them to, to shield the back line, to screen the back line, I should say, is Maitland Niles and Mohamed El Nini. Maitland Niles played there last week and we had a very good game. We got a very good game from him. Composure, technique, the ability to drive forward with the ball, the technical and the agility that he has, the mobility that he has, did us well in that game. And it shows that we have some guns in our arsenal in which we're ammunition in our arsenal in which we're not using correctly. Mikel Arteta, these are some of the things that you have to address. Because we're seeing players playing certain position better than the players that are playing in their position. Because I'm quite sure the display that I saw from Granite Xhaka, be it that it might be a lesser league, but what I saw from Granite Xhaka so far is been way below par versus the, the, just the initial time that we have seen Maitland Niles in that position. And he did extremely well in that position. Now, in front of them, we have the attacking three. We have Nelson on the left, a straight, quick and direct player who can cause defence massive amount of problems. We have Emil Smith Rowe who can break the line with those through balls and also has a good kick on him and loves to take shots and that is something that Arsenal does not have at this moment. Players who love to kick at the goal. Now we have the maverick player himself, the wicked man for the game, Nicolas Pepe. And he's the one who I'm looking forward to see most, um, most likely to see and um, put on a, a good performance. Nicolas Pepe. And right at this point in time, up front, we have Eddie Nketia. He's a better player at this moment than Forlan Balogun. Balogun needs some time to grow. And I'm not sure why Arsenal fans are rushing him into getting in his first team um, choice over Nketiah. And I think that he needs time to, to, to mature. Balog um, Eddie Nketiah has gotten those opportunities, even though many might say he's not taking them. But we have seen so much from him so far that he has a good good uh, a long way to go and also he can progress as well. Now, there's a strong chance. I believe that Mikel Arteta might play Pierre Emerick Aubameyang in this in this game for him to get back himself his goal his goal scoring um, shows because at this point in time he's not scoring goals and we need to get back that clinical edge from Pierre Emerick Aubameyang that has been missing so far. But run through it again: four two three one. Cedric, Mustafi, Pablo Mari, Kolajnak. That's the back four. Double midfield, double midfield pivot of Ainsley Maitland Niles, El Nini, and the attacking three in front of them. Nelson on the left, Smith Rowe, central attacking midfield, Nicolas Pepe on the right, Maverick, the man himself, and also up front, Eddie and Ketia. Thank you very much. If you guys agree with that starting lineup, please put it in the comments and tell me. If you don't agree, put your starting lineup in the comments. And who would you like to see in the comments? But thank you very much for tuning in. As I say, touch that bell, that notification bell. This is the Military Guna TV. Thank you for tuning in. And I am out.